Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're looking at the new Wi-Fi enabled Amazon Kindle. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to adjust the screen so that it displays just the way you like it. So to adjust the way your Kindle displays text while you're reading a book, first thing you need to do is go into a book. So we'll go in and we'll select a book here. Now to adjust the display, you'll actually press the button beside the space bar that has two A's, a capital A and a smaller A. That adjusts your text size. So if you press the AA button at the bottom, it'll actually bring up an interface. And the top option here is the size of the text. So if we adjust sideways using the navigation button, it'll actually start adjusting the size of the text up or down. So if you don't see as well as you used to and you need bigger text, you can actually adjust it fairly easily to something that may actually seem not to be that useful at all, only a few words on a page. Or you can go all the way down to something that's very, very tiny. Now the resolution on this one is quite good. If you go here, you'll see that it fits a lot on the page here now. It may not be as useful to people that can't see as well, but if you want to see more on a page, there is this option available to you. So we're going to go back up to our regular default one because I find this the most comfortable to read. You see on the bottom below that, we all have a few other options here. So if we use the navigation button and go down, we can change our typeface, so we've got the regular one. We can move it over to condensed, which will push the letters together a little bit more. We can also use sans serif, which is more like Helvetica. So again, personal preference here. I like the regular myself. We can go down to line spacing. We can see how much space there is between the lines. It's set to large now. We can go to medium, which will assign the text up to each other. Or we can do small, which will make it even more snug. So depending on your comfort level, you can change this around. We also have words per line. Again, this just adjusts how many words there are in each line. So if you want a little bit more space between them to make it uh, a little bit more breezy or have white space around the outside, you can do that, in fact, as well. If you go down to the very bottom here, you have screen rotation options here. So you can actually scroll so that the entire display goes sideways. And this won't actually activate until you press through. So if I click that now, then you notice it's all sideways on, on here. But it is worth noting that if you turn this upside down, what used to be your page forward button is now still your page forward button, but it looks like a page back button. So this right here will take you forward but it looks like it should be taking you back because of the direction. So it's worth noting that if you turn it upside down, for whatever reason you might want to do that, that your, your navigation controls here along the side of the screen won't change. So we're going to change back to uh, the proper orientation. So you'll see in the display menu, you also have a text-to-speech option which you can turn on. Now to have it read the text out loud, you'll hit the shift button in the bottom and symbol at the same time, and it'll start to read it to you. You hit it again to stop the process. Now, again, it's computerized, so it's not necessarily going to be the best read you've ever heard. You might want to look at something like Audible, which this can actually also handle instead of the text-to-speech. But if you want a free option, that is there for you. That's a look at adjusting the display on the Wi-Fi-enabled Amazon Kindle. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other aspects of the Kindle. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.